This is Rick with your 1721. You're like, whoa, what do you got? We got the Benjamin 392S. That's right, I said two. 392, which means 22 cal. You know we just did a video of the 397. On top, we got the Bug Buster 3 to 12. Thank you so much, Tom from Leapers, for sending the Bug Buster. Thank you, Phil Guadalupe and Chris Moon from Crossman Benjamin, sending us uh, the 392S. Well, the 397 was just awesome to shoot. We actually shot the golf ball in the, in the uh, Air Gun Depot Long Ranger Challenge. And we were like, you know what? I said, to, I sent Phil a message and I said, hey man, if we did the 397S, why don't we just do the 392S? And they were like, sure, we'll send it to you. But let me, that's one thing that I really was blown away by. I don't know if Ryan, you want to take a good look at this. On top, there is a scope mount. Okay, so on top there's a mount. It's a one-piece mount. You got to take the bolt out, but it's only three screws to get this applied. And then you tighten the two Allen screws on hot, on top. This comes from uh, Donnie Reed from Baker Air Guns. Thank you so much, Donnie, for sending this and sending this out to Shooter 1721. This allows you to put a scope on your 10 pump with no problems at all. This is if you want one of these, get a hold of. Uh, Donnie Reed over at Baker Air Guns or Dennis. Listen, guys, thank you so much for sending this to us. We're really, really impressed with uh, how this just turned uh, your 392 into putting a scope on. Because one of the talking points I wanted to talk about just a little bit in this in this review. One thing I did notice with uh, the higher cheek piece here for open sights, it is really pushing hard to get down with your sights with that the way that is because this is molded right here the synthetics molded so this piece coming up when you go to shoot open sights it, it does make it a little difficult so i do want to mention that to everybody but as far as when you have it for a scope it's totally comfortable it's totally fine but that is the talking point that i did want to point out to adjust your open sights with that higher cheek piece back here can make it a little awkward so i want that to be known and as far as a younger person having this gun, like a 12 year old, uh, whether it be boy or girl, uh, unless they're, you know, a, a bull or a horse or they, they got it going on that they can pump this. But this is uh, this is getting up there as far as uh, pounds to pump it. And, uh, or maybe I'm just getting old, I don't know. Or I haven't shot 10 pumps in so long, you know, cause I'm shooting these PCPs. I actually paid Ryan 50 bucks and he handed the $50 back. He says, no, you can pump it. I was like, okay. We will be shooting the Crossman uh, 14.3 Ultra Mags because that's kind of, you can get these at Walmart, Dick's Sporting Good, wherever, you know, Gander Mountain, they're, they're everywhere. So if you want to get some ammo, you can get them there. And uh, But we're going to shoot them at 25 yards. We're going to give you a chronograph test. We're going to give you a trigger test and show you the trigger pull and, uh, of course, the accuracy test. So we're just going to shoot a five-shot group. I don't think I want to do a 20 shot group because I don't know if this arm would stay. So, well, that's enough talking. Let's get to shooting. Okay, well, here we are for our chronograph test and our accuracy test. And because we use, I use my iPhone here for the chronograph, I got it sitting right here. I'll have a camera over my shoulder. We'll have our other camera down range at 25 yards. And uh, we'll just be doing that and we'll see what we get accuracy wise in 25 yards. and. So that's why we got this set up the way we do. So you can see that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to walk down and we'll do a close-up. So we'll do a close-up of what we're doing too. So you can see the group that we shot. And we don't need that. All right. You know I got a $100 bill, right? Ooh, now, now it's getting tempting. Yeah, you'll wait till the video's over. All right. Here we go, 25, let's see if we got the chronograph. I didn't test it, so we'll see what we got. Well, that's good. Well, that's impressive.
Man, this takes me back to the old days. That's right, guys, I am counting. I, one, one number I knew how to count to was 10, with all the 10. And you're like, well, wait, 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 wait. Isn't that an eight pump? Nope, that's not what the box says. It says I can pump it to 10, so I'm pumping it to 10, so no comments, okay? I know some of you will be like, oh, no. It's different now. Okay, here we go. Shot three. You dirty bugger, you. You gotta love how the Benjamin Crossman, the bugger likes, they love these pellets. I, I, I don't shoot the hollow points, guys. I just shoot the domed. For some reason, the dome are it. Well, we did have a nice little half inch group going there, but I decided I wanted to shoot the bullseye, so I shot the bullseye. But let's go, let's walk down range and take a look. You, one thing you did see is the consistency from this. I don't know if you saw that for a multi pump. It didn't go, I don't know if the stream spread was, I think it might have been 10, right? So I think it did really well. Take a look at this though. I mean, I put that one over there, so don't everybody judge and say that. I just was like, I saw where it was holding, so. That is not a bad group, uh, 25 yards. Remember, it is a 10 pump. A lot of guys talk about this being a survival gun, you know, because it is, look, it's one screw. Take your stock off, put this in your backpack and take it with you. A lot of people talk about this being a survival gun to take with you, you know, out in the woods. If you're a survivalist and you want to take something with you but that's that's pretty good shooting with uh crossman 14 threes so we are going to do the trigger pull test let's give you a little bit of that all right there you go we got four and a half five four five five all right Okay, that time we got 415 right there. All right. So you know you're in the four pound range, but when I shoot this gun, we're trying to shoot those groups and stuff. I mean, that's a good group for a 10 pump gun. I was very happy with that. So <laughs> I have no idea what that was. So we'll have to take a look at that then. Okay. And that time it just broke at 3.8. So you're basically looking at a 4.2 or, well, actually 4.3 right there for an average, you know. So you're at 4 pounds. We're just going to say it's 4 pounds for the uh, 392S. I, I don't know, Ryan. I, I like this gun. I always have. love the 10 pumps. The only thing is, is you get up there in age, it's like, you know, I guess if I would have had that hundo, you would have definitely pumped this for me in this video. I don't know. What do you think, guys? 200? Oh, jeez. This is a rough crowd around here. This is Rick. And Ryan. With Shooter1721. Thanks for watching.